Hey there, everyone, and thank you for tuning in to The Warm Up. I'm Ashley Bullington, your host. We have a great show for you this week, jam packed with all kinds of games as Texas high school football is underway and the lights of Friday night are brighter than ever. Week one of Texas high school football had some fireworks. These teams went off and gave us some great games. Week two should have just as many as these teams have more of their kinks worked out and will be rolling. Under the Friday night lights, let's see what we have on tap on Inside High School Sports in the lineup. Our DQ game of the week is Houston Heights at Dawson, and I'm pretty excited to see how these two teams can bounce back from a tough loss in week one. The Bulldogs have quarterback Jalen Morrison leading the way. He rallied the troops against Cleburne in the last quarter of play to get them within a point of taking the win. And their defense looks stout as they had three turnovers. Dawson got their win knocked out of their sails a little bit as they were defeated 31 to seven against Clear Falls. The wheels seem to not be turning very well for the Eagles, but they think they can come back and get on track and take the district championship as Mike Allison quoted to the Houston Chronicle. Who do you think will take the win in week one? Let it Another big game we have in the greater Houston area is the Woodlands versus Lamar. The Highlanders were in an all out battle last week against Langham Creek as they just beat the Lobos 48 to 42. The Woodlands had 535 total yards of offense. They were pretty balanced on their passing and rushing game as they had 245 yards passing and 290 yards came from their rush game. They also had a last minute interception in the end zone to seal the deal. The Lamar Texans are out for vengeance in 2021 as they had their 72 game district winning streak snapped. The Warpath is being set ablaze. They lost to George Ranch last week, but that just fueled the fire as they are even more motivated to get a win in week two. Which one of these squads do y'all think will take victory? Some really great games coming up this weekend on Inside High School Sports, Saturday night at 11 p.m. on KHU 11, hosted by Matt Musel. Now it's time for a battle. Okay, guys, for the battle this week, we have two guys from Katy Paytow on with me. Guys, introduce yourself. Kentrell, we'll start with you. I'm Kentrell Webb, class of 2022, uh, safety at Paytow. You know, I'm here today to take down James. Uh, James Bailey, uh, class 2022 of offensive guard. I'm here to, to whip up on control. Ooh, I love it. I love a little good smack talk. Okay, y'all know the rules. First person to answer the question gets the point. Y'all ready? Let's go. Okay, so what sport is described as the beautiful game? Baseball. Football. Nope. Soccer? It is soccer. James, oh, what's the point? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How long is the total distance of a marathon? 26 point something miles. 26.2. Right. 26.2. Oh, yes. Damn. Yeah. Gotta get the point two in there. Doesn't count. Yeah. Yeah. In which sport do teams compete to win the Stanley Cup? Hockey, hockey, hockey. Control, yeah. what's the point? Okay. Come on. This is my official last question, but if James ties it, we got to figure out another question. Okay, so the answer is not hockey, by the way. What is Canada's national sport? Lacrosse. Cross. Lacrosse. Oh, yeah, oh my gosh. gosh. Okay, guys. We're tied. 2-2. Two, two. Do y'all have a pen and paper? Okay. okay. Here's your question. Approximately... How many Texas high school football players are there? And I will tell you that it is six digits. That is all I will give you. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Oh. You gotta wait till he's ready. Right. Time. Okay. Okay, are we ready? Yes. Three, two, one, go. Control wins. It is 167,428 high school football. Come on, James. I told you. Yeah. Too badly, too badly. Control, do you have any words for us? You know, I'm, not, I'm a natural winner, so I expected this at the beginning. No, I'm joking. 
But yeah, James, James, you know, that was a good comp right there. We always do this in practice, so it was good. Yeah. Awesome, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining me here on the battle. We will have highlights of the Katie Pato versus Morton Ranch game this Saturday at 11 p.m. on Inside High School Sports on KH11. We also like to hype up some games that you won't be seeing on Inside High School Sports as we dive into the hype for some games you should look out for. We're first hyping up Katie Tompkins and Clear Springs. These two teams are two we have high hopes for in 2021. Tompkins in week one took on Magnolia and won 18 to six. It was the team's first game without five star Jalen Milrow. And there are some questions surrounding the Falcons. Can quarterback Cole Francis fill big shoes? He'll at least be protected with the Falcon strength in the trenches. Clear Springs had a tough task in week one as they went up against 2020 state champion Katie and lost 40 to seven, but they should not be deflated by what happened last week. New head coach Anthony Renfro doesn't want to fix what isn't broken, but believes he's brought in some sweeping changes for his chargers this season that could lead to big wins. The Pearland Oilers take on Houston Memorial this week as well. The Oilers season open was not what they had hoped for as they were defeated by Ridge Point 41 to 13. Their defense looked a little rusty, but nothing that the Oilers pride can't handle once getting a few games underneath them. They only had 187 yards of offense, but should look better in this game. The Mustangs also took an L in week one against seven lengths, but have a great weapon in Carson Zahn, who is averaging 97 rushing yards per game. He could be the edge that Memorial needs to overcome Pearland. So what's trending from the social world this week? Let's find out on The Buzz. We're taking some game day fashion to new heights for Friday night. Look at this style, as these two had some really fresh kicks and plenty of style. Does anyone know where I can get those bejeweled, bedazzled shoes? Wanna see a vibe? The Marshall Buffs have us feeling all the vibes after their big week one win over Eisenhower. I feel like we should be seeing some TikTok-like dances. That's all we have for this week's episode. To stay up to date with all things Inside High School Sports, follow our social accounts. We have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. By following those, we will get you ready for the highlight of the sports weekend. Chevy's Inside High School Sports, Saturday at 11 p.m. on KHU 11, hosted by Matt Measle. Thank you for watching the warm-up. We are so excited to have another jam-packed week of Texas high school football. I'm Asha Bullington, and I'll see you next time.